Hello everybody, I'm GG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to take a look at transforming this custom inventory into a inventory menu. To get started I'd like to change the item we add to the inventory because I would like to give it a uh, a custom name. So we're going to do item stack apple equals new item stack material dot apple just like that. And then we do item meta because we're going to give it a uh, just do meta for now equals apple dot get item meta and then I would like to set the name so control o again meta dot set display name and check color dot red plus my apples my apple I'm sorry my apple and then of course do apple dot set metadata set meta to meta just like that and then instead of this item I'd like to add the apple and over here as well that's just to create a difference between a normal apple wait between a normal apple and uh, the apple from the inventory menu um, apple and that's it for the changes in the command inventory and we also would like to make any some changes into the custom inventory because I'd like to register a new listener and to do that you do get server dot get plugin manager dot register events as you already know register events a new class is going to be inventory listener and then of course as plugin we need to do this create class inventory listener and then inside the inventory listener we do an event handler and then public void on player click inventory and then it's gonna be a inventory click event gotta give it the name e just like that and then within the inventory click event uh, we of course first would like to check if e dot get inventory that's the clicked inventory dot get title dot equals and then we're gonna get our custom inventory title this one just copy it so that you don't make any mistakes with typing it over and then over there and then if it equals that title then we would like to check if uh, the clicked item e dot get clicked uh, e dot get item stack I mean I'm sorry get current item dot get item meta uh, does not equal null so that there is item meta after that we would like to check that get current item dot get item meta dot get display name if that is not null and if these things are there because if we do not do this this may not be the most efficient way to check for uh, a custom item title but if you don't do this and you click on an item that has no uh, does not have a display name or item meta uh, then it will just return an error and you do want to have errors and then if you don't get current item uh, dot get item meta dot get display name dot equals and then we would like to do over here we would like to do uh, not the insert button we would like to get the name over here check color dot red plus my apple and we would like to insert it over here and what we now essentially did is we want to uh, we just checked if we're inside our custom inventory with our custom title and then if we click on the, the my apple uh, why do I add check color that's because if you just add a name to it and uh, somebody is as an anvil they can just change the name of an apple to my apple and then the, yeah then it will not make any difference between the, the inventory menu item stack and the normal item stack the player can create and inside of here I would like to get the player P equals and I cast it to player because 
uh, inventory events always return a human entity the get uh, who clicked as you can see it's a human entity who get who clicked is a human entity and we want to get a player and then we want to send the player a message and there is uh, don't steal my apples don't steal my apples uh, exclamation mark and after that we want to set the, the whole event cancelled true that will just cancel out the event and that's it for the coding part that's how you create a custom inventory GUI and uh, you can change this of course inside here is the code you want to uh, execute uh, let me just comment that in real quickly slash code and within that code oh, I remove the player slash code and within here you can just code anything you want you can do uh, world teleportations by giving the player a teleportation to another world you can do whatever you like and over here you can change the material of course you can change the slot you can change the inventory uh, you can do all kinds of stuff with uh, with this and create all kinds of cute, uh, cool inventory menus and uh, let's go take a look at how this looks in the server see over there we're inside Minecraft now, start up the server and let's go take a look at how this beautiful inventory system looks and as you can see over here there's the title for inventory and over here yeah the MBT tags they can be removed by just setting custom lore and then when we click on it we see don't steal my apples in the left bottom of our screen in the text box that's it for today's episode hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like if you want to see more, subscribe. If you got any feedback or suggestions, see the link down below to our Discord channel. And see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.